Daniel there. He's our park crocodilian look, they're nutritionist. Feeding Shay. Look. And he usually starts his day here at about 5.15, mm -hmm. uh, preparing the diets for the animals. And for the alligators, what he does is he gets the chicken out of the freezer and he'll put it in a bucket. That's it. That's all you really have to do for the chicken, guys. It's not like you have to season it or anything. They are carnivores. They eat the whole thing. So you see the bone is in there. The skin is attached. There's connective Whoa. tissue. Oh, a great jump here. Very nice. What and uh, again, they will pretty much chicken. eat whatever is attached Look to an the animal. Gonna get uh, it. Bones, organs, connective tissue, belly, horns, and hooves. Uh, and really, they can digest all of it. The only thing that really just passes through. Oh! oh very, nice. very nice jump by that alligator. And great job by you guys making some noise. I can see your excitement has led one of our favorites here up out of the water. That is Clyde. And he is one of our West African crocodiles. So there are a few crocodiles oh. mixed in here. You can tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile uh, just by looking at the face alone is one of the biggest details there. Uh, you'll notice the alligator with a round head and the crocodile with a pointed head. We'll we'll talk about that more later. We're gonna see him do it one more time. There. As we send out this next piece Shane, of chicken, look, they're we're putting the chicken on the cable because most people assume it's with the arms and legs. Uh, the arms and legs are really just for steering in the water. They swim with their tail and they use their tail for all propulsion. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to line up their shot using their head. And once they have that chicken directly in front of them, they're going to use their tail to sink down to the bottom and angle their body to where all they have to do is propel their tail forward. And then once they're propelling their tail forward, you will see them come launching themselves up out of the water. An alligator can go about half of their body length out of the water, meaning these big 12 and 13 footers here, they can get at least six feet out of the water. And we've actually measured that too. Uh, the crocodiles, they can go almost two-thirds of their body out of the water. Oh! Great there. Very nice. And it looks like Casper the alligator grabbed the second one. Casper the ghost gator. Very nice. You couldn't even see him grab it at all. Uh, so did you see the gator? Been fun, but since that thing fell down there, what do you say uh, one of us goes out there and hand feeds the alligators? You want to go feed it? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to go out there. All right, bye. And